Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to my channel, or should I say welcome Ellie, right? Because I've been a little MIA. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I actually filmed my plan with me video, but I was having technical issues with the video. The video got messed up, so I couldn't upload my plan with me video anymore. But I did share my spread in case you guys want to go check it out. Either way, I'll share it on my next plan with me in case you guys want to see what I created. But yeah, that was a total bummer because... Um, it was actually a really beautiful spread and I felt like I got a little bit creative with it but anyways I'm so excited as you guys know I kind of been on this little um, craft with me series for this little um, planner society plan planner that I got this is ATN and it came in one of my planner society kits I'm always asked where I got the planner from and if I actually made it um, so the cover came in my kit all the paper the pen everything I've been using came with the kit so for those of you guys that have the planner, I've been wanting to give you guys ideas on what to do with yours, how you can create beautiful um, little accessories for yours, and so forth. So today, I don't think it would be complete if I didn't have a page marker, right? So I'm actually going to be doing a page marker, and it's going to have a word topper on it. So I'm really excited. This is going to be like a craft slash tutorial. And then really quick, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually getting ready because... Um, I'm going to be doing a whole series on how I do my planners from start to finish. It's going to be a, a good amount of videos and it's going to be everything. Like one video will be the cover, one video will be all the accessories, one video will be how I do my dashboards, how I add my pom-pom trim, everything from start to finish, how an LE, how a planning with LE planner becomes a planning with LE planner from start to finish, the whole process. So again, look out for those videos really, really soon. I'm kind of starting to plan it. And I actually need to buy more laminating paper because the laminating paper I'm going to use today is literally my last sheet. So I need to order laminating paper and then I need to make sure I have adhesive because I use a lot of adhesive in my planners. And so I'm just kind of planning out and I think I'm hopefully going to start that series, um, that series next Monday. So it might be like the second Monday of March. Um, but I'm really really excited a lot of you guys have been wanting to know how I make my planners from start to finish and I was like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna share it I'm gonna share my process that way you know you guys want to get creative I hopefully it gives you guys ideas so yes but anyways let's go ahead and get started I'm so excited we're gonna be doing a page marker I haven't crafted it in a while uh, you guys you guys my life has been so busy lately and then uh, it's been a little hectic, um, but we're here, right? So the first thing I need to do is obviously cut the layout of my um, little pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the book this time instead of using the dashboard. I'm going to take the book and because I want to create a pocket, I'm not making a pocket. I'm just going to create a pocket within my page marker. So um, let's see the book. I'm going to go ahead and actually make it four inches wide and I'm going to mark it four inches at the top let's make it an even number even number the easier the better so I'm going to go ahead and cut this um I just saw a comment I haven't been checking my comments on YouTube um but I just saw a comment someone asked me where I got my paper trimmer from and I actually purchased mine from um I want to say Michael's. I think it was Michael's because I used the coupon. You know, all of my tools I used to like getting at Michael's because of the coupons that they offered. And it is by Fiskars, so you can purchase it anywhere that has the Fiskars brand. So scrapbook.com, Amazon. Um, I don't have an Amazon storefront. <laughs> I, try to, I try to create one, and you guys, I really suck at that kind of stuff. I suck at linking things down below. I'm not good at it. But you guys can always ask me and I'll do my best to share. Um, oh my gosh, you see, I wasn't even supposed to cut it. <laughs> it's okay. That's because I'm talking. Ah, You guys, my brain is scattered. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to trace it. Um, because I'm supposed to fold it. That's why. That's why I'm not supposed to cut it. I'm supposed to fold it. Um, but yes. Fiskars is the brand for that paper trimmer, so just look it up on any um, craft store that you find. And then my scoring uh, board, it is by 
Martha Stewart, and this one I actually got on Amazon, and I think it was a pretty good deal, so, um, but again, check Michael's, Michael's has, you know, the coupons, it's always a great deal, so with my bone folder, I'm just going to score, and I'm going to fold, and I actually want to use this print because this is the page marker that I picked, and again, everything is from the December kits, so I'm going to go ahead and... Fold it down just like that. And I'm going to cut this piece off. So, this is going to be nice and quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut this because I don't need it. It's just an extra space. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some washi tape along the lines because I like to give it that border look. You know, I like... I would like for it to show that it breaks down the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and... And thank you guys, by the way, for liking my last tutorial. You know, things didn't come out the way I wanted, but it came out so cute, so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed. And it's just so pretty. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and double-side it. Why not? Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. So this is actually going to be a side pocket. It's going to be a side pocket, and then it's going to have my word topper. Oh, I'm going to laminate it. I shouldn't be allowed to talk while crafting. I'm making all kinds of mistakes. Um, I'm going to laminate it, and it's going to look really, really pretty. There we go. Super cute. And again, my goal for this was to use everything within the kit. Nothing, you know, aside from my tools and my adhesive and that kind of stuff, everything is from the kit itself. So that's what I wanted to do. All right. So now what I'm going to need is my side opening or my side closing for this one and for this one. Correct? I'm going to put the word topper up here. The word topper is going to go up here. It's going to open sideways. I have this little adhesive pocket from the kit. I'm gonna put it on here, add a little decor right there. It's gonna look really, really cute. Now I'm thinking, do I wanna round my corners? Probably not. I don't think so. I kinda like it as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take, um, might as well use this piece that I messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit Come a little closer I wanna dance with you Everything's moving slower I don't know what it is you do I've been looking at you all night Trying to figure you out I just wanna make you smile Hold your hand in my hand Looking at the sunset Man, you're looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do page marker that tall all right easy fix easy fix man seriously I have issues okay first I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this much let's see if it works it's still sticking up a little too much so then I'm gonna go ahead and 
This is an easy fix, though. I'm glad. Easy fix. There we go. Perfect. And it's right there. Awesome. Let's do it one more <laughs> time. One more time. <sighs> Boy. You can tell I haven't been crafting in a little bit. I'm like, I knew I was supposed to do something. I was supposed to cut it. Now, will I have enough adhesive? <laughs> of course not. Of course not. <sighs> Let's use this piece. <laughs> right there. Why not? I'm gonna have to stick it in here just like that. Perfect. There we go. It works out. We saved it. Yay. Awesome. Right, let's test it out one more time. Perfect. Do you see that? And I don't mind that it's a little uh, wider. I actually wanted that to happen because. Um, I needed to make sure that I have a good amount of opening space. Um, so from here to here, that's a really good amount for me. I really like that. And then I added the washi tape, which gives it, again, a really nice border. So as you can see, it looks really pretty. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and laminate it. I think I am going to add the pocket to the back. And then I think I'm going to decorate the front. But... I think I'm going to add my decor after. So let's go ahead and laminate it. Perfect. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and laminate it and I'll be right back. So now that it's coming out of the machine, I'm going to go ahead and take this piece cut that off and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so this doesn't have to cut perfectly at all and the reason why is because remember I want that to be an opening space so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little border here that I definitely want a border I need that to stay sealed and then same thing over here I'm gonna go ahead and run it again all right, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this. It's really hot. And I just fussy cut around the border. I don't cut the line directly. Because I don't want this to open up on me. And I kind of do it in a little zigzag motion. Just to give it a little decor at the top. And little scissors like this is always better. Don't use big scissors because it's just not going to cut really good. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and run it through one more time to make sure this completely seals. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fully cut this piece right here. Because I want to open my pocket. Awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and round this corner a little bit. So that we don't cut ourselves. And then... There we have it, you guys. A super cute little side pocket. How cool is that? Very easy, very simple. And then we can go ahead and add some decor. It kind of blends in a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. I like it. 
I'm going to go ahead and add this shine. When you're peeling these, peel them very gently because they will break. These are so sensitive. Of course, the nails are not going to let me do this. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and add this right here. It's just like a little flower. And I'm going to add this hustle. There we go. Shine and Hustle. So cute. So I added a little flower right here. Shine and Hustle. I added the word topper, which is so pretty. I added a border. And then here we have a little secret pocket that nobody can tell it's a pocket unless you have stuff sticking out of it. But again, you can add your little cards if you want to carry them in your planner for when you just want to decorate on the go. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it up with the adhesive pocket that came in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down right there. Always make sure to seal down the borders really good. And then let's go ahead and finish it off by adding, let's see... A decorative card. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And there you have it, you guys. My gorgeous, gorgeous little page marker for my planner. And that pretty much concludes this little series for my videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this right back in here. I think the only thing left that I'm going to do um, off camera is just make a pen loop for it um, because this is the pen that came with the kit but there's nowhere to put it in. So I'm going to add a pen. I'm going to add extra adhesive to this. And then here we have our little page marker. Look at how cute that is. And then we have the paper clip. So the page markers, I'm going to actually put it right here since this seems to be getting stuck onto here. And then here we have that little um, booklet that I made with my little sticky notes obsessed you guys i love this this came out so pretty and then here we have this with an extra pocket another pocket here a pocket in the back so definitely there's a good amount of storage and that is pretty much it you guys that is my planner and there we have it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching as always if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one bye